there's only one thing better than free overnight RV parking, and that's free overnight RV parking at Cracker Barrel. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here and Susan's behind the camera and today or tonight we're actually staying at Cracker Barrel and we're parking here for free overnight. Everybody knows that you could stay in Walmart overnight for free but not as many people know about Cracker Barrel. The great thing about staying overnight for free at Cracker Barrel is you can grab a really great meal and it's fantastic. After a long day on the road there's nothing like some free overnight RV parking at Cracker Barrel and a nice dinner. But it's important to know that not all Cracker Barrels allow overnight RV parking. Most of them do, but not all of them. There are over 650 Cracker Barrels throughout the United States, and a great many of them do allow free overnight RV parking because they want your business. They want you to come in and buy a meal. Uh, in our case, we had a nice dinner tonight. We'll probably get up tomorrow morning and have breakfast too. So they're getting two meals out of us. and. Uh, so it's great for them and it's great for us because we get a nice place to park for free. But not all Cracker Barrels allow overnight RV parking. Some of them are in a location or a jurisdiction where there are laws against overnight RV parking or overnight parking of any kind uh, and the manager really has no choice in the matter. Another reason the manager may not be able to allow you to spend the night is because Cracker Barrel gets big 18 wheelers full of food and they get those deliveries in the morning sometimes, and if your RV is parked in the way, then the food delivery may not happen. So there are certain times where the manager will tell you that they're sorry, but you can't spend the night that night. So we recommend that you call ahead before you get to the Cracker Barrel and ask them if they will allow you to spend the night that particular night. So what's it like spending the night at a Cracker Barrel? Well, let's head on back to where our RV is parked, and I'll show you. So here we are parked behind the Cracker Barrel. And as you can see, the back of the Cracker Barrel is right here. This is what it looks like. Most Cracker Barrels are extremely well lit. So you can expect that the parking lot will be very bright. Many Cracker Barrels are also near a highway or major road. And so you can expect to hear some road noise as well. Um, most Cracker Barrels close at 10 o'clock at night. I think they're open till 11 o'clock on Friday and Saturday, but once they close, the employees are gone for the evening. So when you stay here in a Cracker Barrel, you will be by yourself overnight. So when you get to a Cracker Barrel, once uh, you're ready to turn in for the evening, you should take care of anything that you need to take care of outside your RV. And then you need to plan on spending the rest of the night locked inside your RV. And I recommend you lock everything up tight. Um, you're really not supposed to be out in the parking lot, you know, sitting out here in your lawn chairs or, you know, extending your awning or having a barbecue or any of those kind of things. You're really just crashing here for the night and then you're gonna eat breakfast in the morning probably and then hit the road. And the best part of staying overnight at Cracker Barrel is breakfast in the morning. Also, you're really only supposed to stay one night at a Cracker Barrel. And it's always a great idea when you first arrive to ask the manager if there, are, if there are any rules that you need to know about when you stay here. And you should ask questions like, can you run your generator overnight at the Cracker Barrel? Um, also, can you extend your slide outs if you have slide outs in your RV? Um, can you put your jacks down to support your RV? Things like that are polite to ask the manager before you spend the night in an RV. But very often you'll find yourself backed into your parking spot and uh, it's usually pretty private back here. You might have one other car, you might have one other RV back here with you, but usually you're gonna be by yourself. Um, a lot of people ask, is it safe to spend the night at a Cracker Barrel in the parking lot? Well, for the most part, I would say it is. You do need to remember you are near a major highway you're in a public parking area so again 
uh, take precautions and lock yourself in for the evening. And once you're inside, don't come back out. If you hear anything going on outside of your RV that doesn't sound right or it sounds like it's a problem, don't come outside. Either call the police or just you know use your gut feel and drive away. You can always stay somewhere else for the evening. Um, what if you can't stay at a Cracker Barrel? What if you show up at a Cracker Barrel, you didn't call the manager before you got here, or you showed up and it just doesn't feel right? Well, there are plenty of other places where you can spend the night for free overnight. And we like to use our favorite app called Overnight RV Parking. And that way we can find lots of other locations where we can park for free overnight. Places like Home Depot parking lots, Costco, Walmart, uh, Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops, uh, they all allow free overnight RV parking and there are tons of other locations as well. Some grocery stores like Safeway allow you to. There are lots of different places to spend the night. Another question we, we get and I certainly think about is, are there nicer places to spend the night uh, for free? And there are, you know, one of our favorite ways to do it is, um, is to use harvest hosts. We love harvest hosts. Um, and when you buy that membership, you get overnight RV parking for free at all these beautiful locations around the country. You could stay at breweries, wineries, farms, museums, all kinds of places. And uh, also, uh, Harvest Host just partnered up with, I think it's like 350 golf courses around the country. And so now you could stay for free overnight if you join the golf course package at a multitude of golf courses around the country as well, which are gorgeous. Their landscape is beautiful. They're well manicured. If you're a golfer, hey, get out and golf for the day after you spend the night for free. You really can't beat it. We hope you found this video to be informational and we also hope that you will check out one of our other YouTube videos and please, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell wherever that thing is around here so you'll be notified of our next video that we make. You can always catch us on rvblogger.com. So for Mike and Susan, catch you next time.